This video will be a brief review for how we simplify the square root of a negative number. Recall that we define the square root of negative 1 to be i. We use i because we are talking about imaginary numbers. Recall that we cannot take the square root of a negative number, but when we do so, we start to work with imaginary numbers. The idea is to express our number as a product using negative 1 and a perfect square. Here is a list of the first few perfect squares. We call a number a perfect square if when we take the square root of the number, we get a whole number. Since the square root of one is the whole number one, we say that one is a perfect square. Likewise, since the square root of four is the whole number two, we say that four is a perfect square. In the same way, nine, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, and 81 are all perfect squares. The idea is to express negative 49 as a product using negative 1 and one of these perfect squares. We can do that using positive 49 and negative 1. Since positive 49 times negative 1 is equal to negative 49. Next, we have something for these two square roots. The square root of 49 is 7 and, by definition, the square root of negative 1 is i. This is our final answer. The square root of negative 49 is not a real number. However, it is this imaginary number, 7i.